Welcome in, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about optimizing your computer for better gameplay, especially on Hunt Showdown. Let's do it. How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? I'm Red Squirrel, Twitch streamer, Hunt Showdown hack. And your guide through how to optimize your computer for better gameplay. So here's what we're doing today. Read it and weep. Read it and weep, my dudes. All right, first thing off the bat, you're going to do your Windows update. All right, you're going to get to this window by doing this. Going to the bottom corner, clicking the start, typing update. All right. Update's going to bring you to the Windows Update. Check for updates. I guess if you paused the video now and did it, you would have to reload the video. So make this the last thing you do. If you're having trouble with your downloading your operating system or anything, go to Troubleshoot. Right? Just type in Troubleshoot. Get up and running. Windows update, run the troubleshoot, all right? All else fails, pull the plug, restart. Disk cleanup, DI starts it off. It's gonna bring up all the files to delete that are extraneous that it has found that you do not need. All the, they're all, all right in here, okay? You'll be able to read right here. You're probably gonna see uh, gigabytes in here right now you see 389 because I've done this and uh, there's not too many files you might want to do it two or three times restart your computer do it again because uh, it'll take a while for them to dump all out I have found I kept saying like I you just now see this um, uh, 300 and this right here right, right in there right that number right there was 20 gig before I did this. So, so you'll have a lot of hidden files and you'll have a lot of things that you didn't even know were still there somehow. Hit clean up system files and this is what's gonna hit okay. Uh, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Delete these files. All right, wanna go to control panel The hell were we talking about we're gonna be talking about power management open up control panel power options here we go right it looks just like that all right power management click on power options you're going to go to you're gonna click right on that it's, all right let's see what happens when I say change plan settings turn off display change advanced power settings all right what do we see here my friends high performance active you'll have balanced high performance and power saver you want to click on high performance We start with malware. It's going to bring you up to Windows Security. If you have your own security software, use it. Uh, you'll see everything's all everything's set here. Your virus threat protection. I use Norton 360. And then my Norton Security comes up. Mine's on. I'm protected. I got a secure P VPN, but I don't turn the secure VPN on, guys, because it slows down my internet and my gaming goes slower, and my streaming goes slower, but it's secure. Click on right click, right click, and this is my dedicated graphics card. Click on that, and it will come up with this desktop setting, okay. In this setting, you're going to go right here to Manage 3D Settings. You click on Manage 3D Settings, and it'll come up with this menu. 
and you're going to go to power management power management under power management you're going to click on the side and it's going to show you optimal power adaptive power or preferred maximum performance you will click preferred maximum performance many of you guys know how to do this but you should do it more often hit the right mouse button NVIDIA control panel it's going to bring or whatever graphics card you're using mostly are people using this and then um, adjust desktop color settings this is important uh, for those of you who play Hunt Showdown and uh, a lot of games that have a lot of detail that you want to make happen. I personally leave my contrast and brightness at 50-50. There's no reason to make it go up and down because if you go too high, then it's too dark. If you go too low, then it's too bright. Use your NVIDIA graphics settings. Do not use this top one. Nah. Down here, digital vibrance. I have my digital vibrance set at 70%. All right, 70%. In, uh, for many games, that's not right. But for Hunt Showdown, that gives you pretty good uh, clarity. All right, next, audio driver updates. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to turn on your device manager by clicking your hui down here and go into device manager. You're going to open up audio. You're going to uh, click through here, especially uh, just any one of them, because especially voice mirror, you click one, you click them all, and it'll tell you if the drivers are updated. If they're not, update them. Computer mic settings. All right, so to get to your uh, mic settings for your computer, not the mic settings for voice meter or for Streamlabs or for anything else. This is your internal computer. You want to go to sound in your control panel and you click on sound. A little box will pop up. Right click it for properties. Click properties. First thing you want to do, you'll see general, listen, levels, and advanced. You're going to want to hit advanced. Make sure you are on two channel, 16 bit, 48,000 hertz DVD quality. Okay, next, levels. You... All right. This is the important part. This is, this is the secret to your microphone success. Okay. Your microphone level output from your computer really can't be at 100% because you're going to get a lot of computer noise, internal computer noise and hiss. That's just the, the electricity inside your computer. You don't need it that. You don't need to hear all that. Around 80 is going to be making your mic blow out a little bit. All right. So you really want it around 69. You really want it right at, where'd that thing go? You really want it at 69. And that's a great position for it to be at. Right click, wrong mouse. Right click. Properties, Advanced, make sure you're running 48K and you can test your mic. Allow application to take exclusive control. Spatial sound, off. Super, super important with Hunt Showdown to have that and off. Okay, guys. Next, we're going to talk about startup apps. Super important. And it's a silent killer, if you ask me. I got most of my performance in my computer back from doing this one thing. Go to startup in the corner menu, yada, yada, go to startup. You'll see all the apps that are open 
that open up and start running when you're turn your machine on. Um, turn them all off, every one of them off except for your Norton security or your Windows security and your Realtek audio. That's the your your basic universal audio of the of your machine. Cuz then you're going to turn everything on and turn that on anyway. All the other things that you're if you're if you're going to go to Epic and play an Epic game, well, you know what? It'll open then. But you don't want uh, Steam running in the background while Epic is running. Though, and then you're going to turn Discord on. Maybe maybe you'll be running a Google Chrome. Maybe not. Maybe you don't want your OneDrive open to the cloud. You'll do that later, right? Because if that's on right there, it's going to automatically right in the middle of your game at whatever time it decides it wants to do. Start pushing things up and down to the cloud. So turn all that stuff off until you need to do it. That's going to save you quite a bit of uh, power and um, bandwidth. Moving on. Task Manager. All right. Now this is Task Manager. You should, uh, you right in the corner, right down here, all right, go down here, type TA. Task Manager comes up. You bring up, it'll show you all the processes and what's going on in your computer right now. Obviously, I don't have anything going on because I'm not running anything. Plus, I have a, uh, this is how good your computer can run pre-opening a game. Now, this is my stream computer and it only runs games. And this is where you see all your processes. When you turn your game on, you should see your internet fairly low. You should see your graphics card stay around 40 to 60. If it's 70, 80, maybe it should be at 70, highest of high. CPU shouldn't even run more than 50. And your disks and your ethernet should be fairly low. Memory might get kind of dug. You see I run 32 gig here. If you run the task manager on the side window, all off in the corner on your second monitor, and says something goes wrong, you can click out of the window, right click it, hit end task, and it will turn that program off. Erase unwanted third party non-essential programs to Windows. Scroll bar down here, type in APPS. Come over to your apps and features. It's going to list all of the apps you have. It's going to have list everything you got, guys. You're going to want to go through each one of these and get rid of whatever the heck you want. Like this right here, 1001 Game Creator. All right. It's going to tell you it's got 92 point megabytes. What that really means is that's that right there is just a little program. But you'll go down the list and you will see Alienware Command Center, 88.6 megabytes, not much. But you'll start to scroll down and see some of the uh, games that you have in there will. It might not show them how much they are. Some of them will. And you'll see Hunt Showdown doesn't say how much is in there, but the, you can modify or install some of them you want to uh, uninstall a lot of little programs that you'll find that you might not want or you're like hey I didn't know I thought I erased that maybe you took the uh, uh, desktop icon and threw it in the trash and thought you erased it or you click delete and you put it in the uh, trash can but you didn't actually empty the trash can so those are this will tell you this is uninstall which will actually use the program made for the computer made for the program that uninstalls it. If you actually delete it, drag and drop it into the trash and, and do it that way, there will be an uninstall program left on your computer and those little bits and pieces will be everywhere. And so you, you gotta do that. Virtual color. Open here, type color, and it'll go to color settings. Go to color settings. You'll see background. You can have a wonderful picture like I have. You can choose it to fit. This is not what we're working on. Colors. Turn transparency off. Right there. Transparency effect. These little effects are the things that go on uh, behind um, uh, little secondary layers of things it makes things more basic in color, but that's going to help you save some computer power right there All right last on this top list 
none other than display settings you think you know until you don't know. Let's check it out. Display settings, my dudes. Scroll down to advanced display settings. Click on display adapt properties. Click your properties. Click for drivers. Update drivers. Search automatically. Find fine. Uh, details. Let's just look through it. Everything seems to be fine. There's nothing about this you need to know. Monitor. Properties. Drivers. You see how we went from adapter to monitor? We do the same thing here. All right. Do it. Color management. I don't think we're going to be doing this here, guys. Here we go. Let's see if this leads us to what we want to do. Identify monitors. There's one and two. All right. Did I say two on my other when I was doing that? This is using my graphics card 1080. Okay, you need to know all that. Understanding color management settings if you need to. There they go. It'll bring that up. And you can see that. All profiles. Advanced. All right, when you, you see how I got there? Now you're gonna do calibrate display. All right, and you're gonna go through the menu. Now this is your gamma settings. This is a, how do I calibrate my display? It's gonna bring you up and it'll tell you how to do it if you need to. What you really need to do is go to next. The button's right down here, but I've cut it off. At the very bottom, it says next. Click next. All right. To get started, specify to determine. Read it. Read it. You'll have time to do it in the, in, at the end of this section here. Click next. It'll show you a pattern. Click next. It'll show you a slider. Adjust the slider until these circles disappear. <coughs> Don't cough while you do it. Okay, they, those circles won't disappear for you in the video. I've noticed in, in the video, they will not, okay, I, if I go up and down, you'll see them change. All right, when I set it for my actual monitor right there, that's where it is on, the, on, on your screen here, they got a black, they got a dot, but it's not like that on my screen because this is another screen. Get it? All right, next. Skip brightness and contrast because you're going to do that uh, in game because it's just 50 50. You leave it. Now you're going to be able to adjust your colors. If your monitor is a little fucked up or old, if you've got a window with a, a sun coming in at one time and or uh, some, somebody's got a sun lamp in the other room and they're tanning themselves, then you can change these, but mostly you leave them all at the top. Click Next. Pre then now it'll show you the two different versions, what you did before and what you did now. That's what it looked like before. That's what it looks like now. See, it's a little darker. Well, it's a little brighter. Earlier I picked it and I thought I saw the dot kind of be gone. And now when I just did it, I think it looks a lot better. So we're gonna take the current calibration somehow, and we're gonna click finish. All right, main text easier to read. All right, this is what it should be. This should become so much, use turn on clear type. Another very important, small little bit of detail. Turn on clear type, guys. It has just that little bit of, of, of edge on all the pixels, that means all the leaves in Hunt Showdown get to be just a little bit crisper. All right. Click Next. Now you tune your monitors. All right. These are the two different monitors. Uh, 
Yes, I want to tune all my monitors. We'll do it real fast. Next, read. You read it, you pick it. You read which one looks best for you. What's that doing there? You read which one pick, looks best for you, you pick it. Uh, that one's a little thick. That one's a little dark. Those are kind of thin. I think that one looks good. I'll go like that. Which one looks good to you? You pick it. That one's fine from, I think it's this one. All right. Um, I'm liking a big thicker one, but I want it too thick. Maybe it'll make the lines in the game just too thick, right? But you really want to be able to see them. You want them crisp. You don't want them too fat. All right, let's go with that. So you're going to do this five of five times. Now we're finished with one monitor. And now, and now it moves over. What you didn't see is the um, box moved over to the other window. And now we do this one, same thing. We click next, we click next, we click next, we clicked all through, and we click finish. All right, that is calibrating your display. All right, we just did gamma settings along with our display settings. Ease of use settings, another little known yet vital thing to do. You hit that number. You type control panel, grab control panel, drag it onto your main monitor so all your friends can see it. Go to, you'll find it, you'll find it, you'll find it. It's all, it's in there somewhere. Ease of use. It's got this kind of handicap looking thing, a little round. Okay, click on ease of use. All right. You're going to scroll down, make my computer easier to see. Optimize visual display. Click on it. You're gonna then go, you've got high contrast. And it's, you, can, you can now choose what you'd like. These are warning sounds, no important. The most important part is to scroll down Turn off unnecessary animation when possible. But let me show you the difference between the displays before and after these settings. All right. Here is before and here is after. We've been staying on after the whole time. You'll notice the lines are crisp. These exact same pictures on two different monitors, two different computers. I've done all the settings exactly the same except for the monitors. That's because we use the digital vibrance to enhance our colors. You can see that the lines are nice and clean because we used uh, the ease of use settings, right? Those little itty bitty settings. You see it runs faster because you see the difference in that picture, see the edges. You'll see it right here. You can see it right here. Uh, you can see it right there. You definitely see it right in there, right? Oh, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Look how smooth that line is. Look at how much more smooth those lines are. Right there. See that right? Look at right here. See that? That's the exact same picture. Amazing. These are my hunt showdown settings. Detailed. All medium. Custom medium. Game, my game, in game. No. Pretty straightforward. All right, once you turn Hunt Showdown on, you'll notice with the settings that uh, if you preset the settings that I showed you, you'll see that your uh, reds 
will be much brighter. Reds will be much brighter. Golds will be mu mu much brighter. You'll see you won't have all, you look at the, the character itself will look much cleaner and crisper. You'll be able to read everything so much better. All right, just, just off the top, you'll see all that. We're going to jump into quick play. Okay, notice the bricks, cleaner, clearer, just a little bit, uh, the, some of that brightness in there is Streamlabs, for the viewing pleasure. Ah! Yep, that's right, you deserve a tea bag for that, a quiet, silent tea bag, how'd that feel buddy? Cause you tried to shoot me with the Romero from how far away? From how far? That's when I knew you were done. Burn him. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was educational. I hope you uh, go through all the steps, do everything that uh, we went through. I hope you did it as we did it. And what you do now is turn off your computer, restart it, go through these steps again. Make sure you've done them all right. So there's going to be a few steps you need to redo. You know that? And then restart your computer again, turn on Hunt Showdown, and have yourself a blast. Thanks for watching, everybody. I am Red Squirrel, and I will see you in the bayou.